autumn skies and the aroma of wine. <laughs> There's no better time to sing out loud. Huh? Where the heck's Razor? Paimon thought he would have been here by now. Hmm. He had a pretty big day when we last saw him. Do you think he fell asleep when he got back and is still snoozing away now? Fair enough. You're right. Let's keep waiting. Well, since we've got some time on our hands, let's put our heads together and try to figure out that poem. Tone Deaf Bard mentioned some ingredients, but they all sounded super abstract. An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and the thousand winds song of good cheer. Do you have any ideas? Yeesh, that's even more abstract! How do we go about looking for this wine's character? Where do we start? Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Wow, that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Vine Laser Fest. Wait, this is way too big of a coincidence. That Tone Deaf Bard, did he just make all this up on the spot? In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony. Oh, now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Deaf Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. Miss Honorary Knight, Paimon. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm late. That's all right. We were just chatting. The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to her, we're finally on to something. Hi. I was on my way. Then I saw Klee. They let me out for Vine Laser Fest. Albedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe for an extra strong sobriety potion. So he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. I'm just playing by myself instead. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! I wanted to join in, too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. Very own way? Uh-oh. This does not bode well coming from Glee. And that's when I bumped into Razor. Razor was acting kind of different than usual, like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then, Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. <laughs> I did not say mommy. Oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Klee's gonna come help. <sighs> Razor! Razor! Finally, I found you. Bennett? Oh, <laughs> look who's here. Hey, everyone. Here, this is for you. Uh, a small lamp grass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow, this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lamp grass? Huh, that's true. They do glow after all. 
No, no. I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was they're really big and easy to spot. So I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay, I guess maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. Anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus, asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation too, and asked if we could help. Whoa, Lisa is doing some real work for once? Oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick, and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you gotta help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please, take me with you, please. I wanna join in. Clee's in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Hmm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Klee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Huh? Hmm. I really appreciate the thought, Klee. But I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this! A jumpy donkey? Yeah! It's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. I hope you guys can be best friends. Are you sure? Yep! Jumpy dumpty will be happy to make a new friend, too. I'm also happy for you. Yeah, maybe Klee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure will go smoothly. And you might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. Of course, it's also highly possible that Klee will be the only one who gets lucky. Still, on the flip side, Klee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the Violaisa Fest. Cool, don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Find Lisa Fest! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh! Wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie, uh, I mean Razor needs looking after. Honorary Knight, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Good luck. See you later, folks. Ah, <sighs> it's so nice to see everyone in such a good mood. Oh, Paimon almost forgot the whole reason we came here. Razor, the Traveler and Paimon were just chatting about the ingredients Venture
Dante mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. So, if we talk to some people we know at each place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes. These days, I think a lot. I am not smart. Not like teacher. Not like traveler. But I still have to think. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. That's why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it, and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is... like me. When he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. Yeah! We should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. Hmm... Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way... Okay, we go. I go too. Everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. This way. Oh, Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trails doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, Q? To the rescue! their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You were just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. 
Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Rosaria! What the heck are you doing here? Uh, wait. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. Okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer's style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. <laughs> well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it! Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family! Just not by blood. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? I get it. In the final moments of your life, the people there with you won't necessarily be your blood relatives. Cold, dark grown-up, you also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents, and trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. All right, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupico protect each other. Human family also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now, and all the other monstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria. All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lace Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Aw, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> uh, wait! You heard the bard say that?! Were you spying on us?! Thank 
you. Don't mention it. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. Good luck finding your answers. Now you see her, now you don't. Paimon's slowly getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was... pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? Her words are like mist flower. They are cold, and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like wolf hook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. Okay. I will come with you. I think while we walk. forest. So you see, you're the best person for this. Oh, -ho, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Huh? But, uh, obviously the next part is supposed to be a defender's will. But what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Fair enough. <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, how else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the Cavalry Captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult for you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. Fine Lisa Fest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how Diluc thinks better than anyone. Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? 
When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. Hmm. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, he didn't take much persuading. <sighs> and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. <sighs> Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. Ah, I see. Hmm, cutie, how about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. Oh, or aren't you a sweet one? But this is as much my business as yours. It's my pleasure, really. Run along now, and don't forget to tell Diluc that the Knights of Favonia send our regards. My heart feels like rotten berries. So sour. I don't understand what I should do. Oh, all right. I'll teach you a very special magic trick that can make all your troubles disappear in the blink of an eye. But before we do that, let's warm up with something a little bit easier, hmm? Let's practice some talking. That way, the next time somebody helps you, or you have a different opinion from the rest of the group, you'll be able to express what you think clearly and precisely. Okay. I will do my best. I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important.
Mr. D. Luke? Oh. I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master D. Luke. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself. The Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius... Well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have... what, exactly, to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now... I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinlesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out! Kaya's not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it! Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my... I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <sighs> Give that silver tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master D. Luke is so generous. That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. Uh, which is just as well, since she won't be allowed to drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Lacer Fest, too? Poor Razor. He grew up so fast, and he's still looking for his father. Master D. Luke, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day, and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel's Share stand. Aww, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master D-Luke! <laughs> Thanks a lot! Razor will really appreciate it! You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master D. Luke I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, 
Are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. All right, then. I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. Ooh, Paimon's so full. Adeland's cooking's amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. Oh? Then I may have to tag along on the Traveler's Adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Kai is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Vinelays of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master D. Luke. Indeed. Goodbye. Family, huh? <sighs> Don't mind me. You should probably head back and get some rest. I'm not the most familiar with Razor, but you can contact me if you ever need help. It's been a long time since I saw Masters Diluc and Kaya sharing a meal together. The atmosphere was... <clears throat> was not something that a maid of my lowly stature should be commenting on. Thank you so much for visiting. I hope to see you again soon.
The value of knowledge cannot simply be quantified in monetary terms. Keep up.
Keep up.
Keep up. Keep up. We got all the funds you need! Already? <laughs> wow, you sure work fast. All right, our suppliers are ready and waiting. Uh, just give me a moment. Ah, <sighs> what do you think? Not bad, huh? Of course, if you're in a creative mood at any point, feel free to redecorate the place however you want. It's great! Really looks the part! The shop definitely needs a name, though. Hmm. How about, uh, Favorian Goodies? Paimon will take that as a compliment. Okay, Bernhard, so what do you need us to do next? Gathering the funds was a monumental task. It must have been very demanding. So don't worry about all those other menial things that need doing. I'll handle those. 
You both have more experience than me. It'd be great if you could figure out the more managerial level things, like our sales strategy, SOPs, USPs, QC principles, KPIs. Uh, uh, I've got to be honest. I hear other store owners using these terms, but I can't say I really know what they mean. I just know they're important, which means they're probably best dealt with by you. So in other words, we'll be the shop owners who make the big business decisions, and you'll be the shop assistant doing all the actual day-to-day -day work? Yep. My strength is in execution. Your shop, your rules. I am but a tool to be used however you see fit. Sounds a little extreme. This is for charity, remember? We're not some cutthroat business executives. All right, why don't you go ahead and take a tight five, Bernhard? The two of us need to touch base on strategy. Okay, we have a clear corporate mission statement. Our goal is to become the best darn snack shop in the whole festival market. Now let's all prepare to give 110% as we receive our first customers. Traveler? Paimon? What a surprise! Mona and Fischl! You came to check out the market, huh? Hmm. One was wise to follow one's intuition and ask Lady Magistus to join the Princessin on a tour of this folk festival. Extraordinary events may yet unfold, even on this unexceptional autumn day. Splendid. Most splendid. Main Fräulein is battling hard to suppress the euphoria in her voice. Seeing you here has put her in the most wonderful mood. Uh, Oz, spare us your gratuitous embellishments. <laughs> Maybe you should leave me to do the explaining. Not long ago, Her Highness had a very nice dream and took it as a sign that something good was about to happen. Naturally, Her Highness's first thought was to come to me for some astrological guidance on the matter. She also noticed that the Vinelesa Fest was in full flow and asked if I was interested in checking it out with her. I, of course, agreed. I can take advantage of the festival period discounts to purchase some bulk supplies for my present column writing spree? I must admit, without Her Highness's reminder, the Vine Lace Fest may well have completely passed me by. <laughs> Lady Magistus, might Her Highness remind you that the dream of which you speak occurred no less than nine days ago? And that only after awaiting Lady Magistus's return letter. In vain for all this time did one have no recourse but to rap most furiously upon the door to thy abode. <laughs> it's been nine days already? Nine days! Where did the time go? In light of the great importance this manuscript has to you, Lady Magistus, one shall not hold thy inattentiveness to the passage of time against thee. But I would implore you, Lady Magistus, to be attentive at least to the nigh-overflowing mailbox outside your door. There appear to be many others whose letters go unanswered. Wow, Mona. You are so immersed in your research that you forgot all about the time, stopped checking your mail, and almost missed out on a huge festival! <clears throat> anyway, time is of the essence. I have a lot of bulk buying to do. Speaking of which, it's quite a surprise to see you running your own shop. And a snack shop at that. The most important kind. Oh, actually, we're just helping someone else out. <laughs> Feel free to browse around. Let me think. Uh, can you recommend anything that, uh, goes well with a drink? Sure can! If you got the hangries, then look no further! Just that time and check the menu! Uh, wait a sec. Goes well with a drink. Uh-oh. Is the writing going that badly? You know drinking isn't gonna solve your problems, right? As it happens, Main Fräulein has been visiting Mona quite frequently as of late. 
It is possible that Lady Magistus is feeling the pressure from the constant interruptions. No, it's nothing like that. This has nothing to do with drinking or with Fischl's visits. You all need to calm down. Ugh. Recently, Her Highness invited me to try her signature cold cut platter. Uh, sorry, I mean, De Heilige Sinfonie. It had such a unique taste and every bite was so sumptuous. Before I realized it, I had finished the entire plate. <laughs> Wow. Well, an empty plate is the highest compliment you can give to the chef. The Halaga Zinfoni is an excellent dish. It's filling, full of energy, and has a long shelf life. And, if I'm not mistaken, it's often paired with alcohol, yes? It is, in almost every respect, a far superior dish to the so-called satisfying salad. The sole exception being the steep price. Fortunately, however, the Vinalesa Fest is upon us. A festival during which not only are wines sold at discounted prices, but also wine-related food products. This opportunity is a godsend. I cannot let it slip by. Rejoice, Lady Magistus. That dish was but a spontaneous creation, hastily made in a moment of need while on a royal excursion. You shall have many opportunities to enjoy far finer culinary delights than this. Main Fräulein means to say that this dish represents a mere fraction of her full capabilities. But of course, far be it for me to suggest that the true breadth of Her Highness's culinary brilliance can be displayed in a single dish. However, I cannot expect the Sovereign to serve her subject. Uh, what I mean is, I can't keep letting you cook for me when you're a guest in my home. At the very least, I should have something more than salad in store for when people come around. With any luck, I'll be able to find something to your taste here. Huh? Mona? Is that really what this is all about? Main Fräulein, might I suggest alternative phrasing that would be more faithful to your style? Perhaps, long had I foreseen this, or thou needst not fret over thy affinity for salad. <clears throat> Most indeed, Lady Magistus. You have long since earned the recognition of your princessin. Devote yourself to deciphering the secrets of the starry sky. You need not spend precious hours in search of additional ways to delight me. Don't worry. I won't always be as busy as this. It'll be quite nice to work on some other skills when I have the time. Allow Favonian goodies to be the solution to your troubles! In addition to our range of ready-to-eat drinking snacks, we also have a wide variety of semi-prep dishes for sale. Why not get a few of each kind? Finishing off these ready-to-cook meals at home is easy as pie, takes no time at all, and can help you improve your cooking skills. Then, once you have more time on your hands, you'll be ready to challenge yourself with some trickier dishes. We can even come and help if you want. The Traveler is really good at cooking. It'd be no problem. <laughs> That's a great idea. I'm almost tempted to increase my budget now. Lady Magistus, your princessin awaits your culinary masterpiece with great anticipation. But please keep Paimon's suggestion in mind and allocate your time wisely. Mm-hmm. Oh, you just wait. The next time you dine at my home, I'm sure you will be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Favonian Goodies has just completed its first sale! That's right! And it makes Paimon so happy to see a delighted customer find something that they really like. Oh, Paimon never knew that selling things to people who need them could feel so fulfilling! Looks like being a shop owner is a pretty cool job after all! Alright, let's keep up the momentum and get our name out there!
Lisa said that the Knights of Avonius would help us get ingredients for Razor's wine, right? They should probably be ready by now. Let's go check! <laughs> Razor's class has been going. Uh, Sucrose, wait! Uh, honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her! and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do. We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait, so does this mean the Knights of Avonius's ingredient is a product of bioalchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. Quadruple sweetness? But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why is sunsetia? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine. And after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, Sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noel, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! What is it, Sucrose? I 
just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh. Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noelle. Oh, okay. Anyway, Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noelle filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task, even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, none of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noelle's list, I picked this Ancetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I, I already said don't compliment me. Anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensetia, Variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing, and the size and color are both optimal, too. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness Sensetia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. Traveler, there's something else I'd like to share with you. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable, or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but I truly hope he can find happiness and spend his life doing what he loves. Sucrose. Sorry, I am late again. Teacher forgot about the time. I kept talking and talking. That's all right. We were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec. Where did Sucrose go? Wow, she disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello, I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She, um... Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly, right? Wow, nothing gets past your nose, does it? This sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to, uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> Okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, 
will need a barrel, which, if Paimon remembers correctly, is waiting for us at the Angel Share Stand. Bye, Noelle. We're gonna head off now. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh, no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! Take part in the Knights of Favonius' chariot. If you press a leaf between dry sheets of paper, you can make an attractive and handy bookmark. me the whole story. So, this bright idea was the brainchild of you two? Hmm. How could you? Razor is Daddy's friend. And he was a good influence. Right up until you got him interested in wine. <sighs> Razor, you better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. I, uh, 
I don't understand. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Kree, what exactly did you say to Diona? Um, I told her that Razor is looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. But before I finished, Diona said, Clee, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. Uh... Uh, okay. Hyman doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds like Clee left out a few important details in the story. Let us set the record straight. So you're saying, Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made? So he can learn more about them? Hmm. You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. Sorry, Diona. It was all Clee's fault for not explaining it properly. So, are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Um, and you can pack Dodoko too if you want. I... I wasn't that angry. You were just trying to help. I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray, that's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit just now. Mm. Well... Since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once, despite my reservations. But I need you to know that I'm a mixer, not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yay! Diona is the <laughs> Bunch of flatterers. Now watch this. All done! That was quick! Now we just need to find a place to store it. We wait, wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Maybe wind rise? Very windy. Yep, if you say the word windy, that's the first place on every Monstatter's mind. Cool, I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so I won't be joining you. Klee, come and play again some other time. I will, I promise. Clear autumn skies and the aroma of wine. <laughs> Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's all part of the learning process. Ah, oh, what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Tonda Fart, what are you doing here? Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, this is where I ended up. Yeah! The fruit are super fresh and super duper sweet! I can smell it as well! <laughs> yes! Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. What? We missed something? Razor. Do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there? Yes, there was. 
<laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This. Dandelion seeds? You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul and also preserve memories. Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wow! That's so cool! So now our story will be made into wine, too! As for why it always has a different scent, well, that's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want. <laughs> hmm. What is it, Razor? What you thinking about? In Mother and Father's wine, I can smell dandelion seeds, but I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of friendship. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you and everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, Teacher, Clee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, Grown Up with Fake Smile. Gray Tough Girl, Person That Smells Like Animal Crystal Fly, Uncle Brown Cat's Daughter. Green Bard, Paimon, and Traveler. I remember everyone. Making wine is hard work. Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends? Not so hard after all. I'm... I'm so happy. Thank you. Friends are also Lupical. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. <laughs> what a magnificent monologue. Even as a bard, I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. We're finally done! Paimon feels like a celebration is in order! Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> I'd better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning. Then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. <laughs> Razor, you were so cool back there. Cool. But inside, I feel warm. <laughs> no, not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh. Hmm. But I think Clea is sweet. I feel warm. <laughs>
people have shown up to welcome the Animal Archon! Uh-huh? Why is everyone crowded around the Angel Share stand? Tradition holds that the finest wine of the Vinelesa Fest only goes on sale after the Animo Archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony. Everyone's waiting in line for the big moment. Ugh. So welcoming the Animo Archon back is just a means to an end for them, huh? What about you, Lisa? Are you here for Razor? Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. Hey, hey! There you are! Whoa! What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> These are for Razor, from us. Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone. We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said if he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp. So, do you think we'd have enough between these and the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah, Green Bard. Uh, uh, everyone, I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grandmaster Jean of the Knights of Favonius to perform a piece for everyone. Thousand Wind Wine. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. Fill up the barrels and store them away Then wait, wait for a windier day Wax the bottles, seal them tight For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites How does this fine wine taste to the tongue As Mondstadt to the ear like a sweet dream of freedom And what are the fruits that went into the brew An explorer's courage, a love tender and true a defender's will, strong as yesteryear Joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away As we wait, wait for a windier day Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait, wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the lyre, to the sweet dream of tonight. Dear friends, let us now open the wines. To the Animal Archon! To the Animal Archon. Um, there's no wind. Don't feel sad, Clee. But why didn't he come? If the animal god didn't come home, is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? Of course not. You know, Clee, the wind isn't the only form that the animal archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. Huh? Really? Maybe he turned into a Jumpy Dumpty. Sure! Jumpy Dumpty it is! Hope you're listening, Animal Archon! <laughs> Racer, did 
the Animal Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. I talked a lot with you all, and I learned a lot. Now, I am not afraid. I think that is a blessing. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. Yes, we share together, and we remember together. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm getting thirsty. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! Okay, everyone. Let's go. Take this, crush it, and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. Very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. <sighs> After all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes. I like it. Razor! Razor! Come on! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs>